Disclaimer, the purpose of this video is to show you this plant so that you can avoid it. Seriously, don't ingest any part of this plant. It will make you regret it if you do. Take a look at that. This is white baneberry, and if you were to eat these berries, you'd end up very, very sick. Luckily, they don't exactly look appetizing. Now, all parts of this plant are toxic, but luckily, you're not likely to mistake it for anything edible, especially the white variety shown here. There are red baneberries that are just as toxic, although I've yet to actually come across those in person. So that's a story for another time. While there are exceptions, it's generally a good rule of thumb that white berries should be avoided. They tend to be poisonous, as far as I understand it. Identifying this plant is fairly simple. It comes up from one center stalk and then branches out, and its leaves can have anywhere from one to three lobes. Sometimes they'll look a bit like an elm leaf, other times they'll look like a wool mitten, and other times, especially at the end, they'll look like a maple leaf. Very similar to poison ivy in this regard. And the leaves themselves are matte, semi-translucent to the point where you can see shadows through them, and the underside is quite a bit lighter. Now onto this plant's toxicity. It is quite toxic. This is a plant that really could make you seriously ill if you ate a couple berries. One source I saw cited it as about six is enough to make a person seriously ill. This is one of those plants where it's past the threshold where I'd be willing to give it even the tiniest of tastes, especially since the toxin in these affects the heart, and that's never something you really want to mess with. Luckily, even if you were to make a mistake, apparently these berries taste horrendously bitter, so it's unlikely you would eat more than one. All told, this plant isn't one you're likely to mistake for a wild edible, and it isn't likely to actually end up killing you. But that actually brings up a good point about this series. Notably, that the series is called Plants That Can Kill, not Plants That Do. You see, plant poisonings are incredibly rare. Most notably because there's very few people walking around the woods putting random plants in their mouth. Practical applications of the knowledge of these plants is secondary, if at all. I just find these plants really, really cool. Although I do think information on poisonous plants is always useful, especially if you are a parent of small children who happens to live near woods. Small children happen to be the group of people who might actually put one of these in their mouth, and they are small little creatures that may actually be heavily affected by even just one berry. Anyway, I do hope you've learned something, enjoyed, and as always, I wish you the best. Till next time.